Today, I'm going to be teaching you a powerful tool that can allow you to access your target machine, CMD or PowerShell. So, let's get into the video. So, head over to your Kali Linux machine and you can see that the PowerShell Empire is default installed on your Kali Linux machine. So, open up the terminal here and make it look like this. This one. So here we have a main screen and a server screen whereas a copy paste machine. So let's go hit sudo PowerShell Empire and here you have to put client. Now before entering head over to your server panel and hit sudo PowerShell Empire and server. Enter the password. Let's go. So we are just loading the server. So once the server is loaded, you can see right here, so hit enter onto your main screen, enter the password, and you're good to go. So we are connected to our server with a uh, terminal. So what you have to do right here, just uh, make it look like a bigger thing, okay. So what we can do to access the CMD or PowerShell of the target machine, I'm going to be teaching right now. So. First, we are going to create a listener that can listen the connection coming from that uh, target IP. So, what we are going to do, type in use listener and HTTP and here you can see a dialog box. So here we have to set a port, so now set port and uh, whatever your favorite port is, 4422, hit enter and hit execute that. So you can see the listener HTTP has successfully started. Now what you have to do, you have to create a malicious file that can run onto the target machine to actually give you access. So what you have to do is use stager and what you have to do is launcher and underscore bat. So this is the bat file that will run on the target machine to actually give the connection of this machine. Okay, hit enter and here you have to set the listener and listener say HTTP, the one we've created before, hit enter and hit execute. So here you can see that we have a file right here. So head over to your default terminal and now what you have to do, you have to copy this file and run it on your target machine. So in my case, my target machine is like in my LAN. So I'm going to copy this file from this location to my default Apache server. So what am I going to do is type in the command sudo cp the path to that file to to slash war slash dot 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 slash html hit enter, enter the password and we are done. So we are in the directory and what we are going to do is to check the files that there is the file. So here we go, we have the launcher.bat. So next thing we are going to do, hit system control, system CDL start apache2.service. So what it is going to do, it's going to start our apache server. So hit enter, enter the password. Here we go, we have the server running. So what we are going to do next, enter this command and here is your IP. So we are on our system and what we are going to do is that open up the Chrome bar and hit the IP that we have seen before. So that was 5, hit enter and we are on that server. So we are going to download this file launcher.bat and once that's downloaded, we are just going for that in the folder. So here we go, let's open that file and now run the file and it's done. We're done. So as you can see, we have re received a connection from 192.168.10.2. So this is the connection that we have received. So what we are going to do, we are going to interact with this user. So type in the command interact space and you will see the ID, hit enter and now you are interacting with that target machine. So now we are, what we are going to do is now shell and hit enter, so now we are in this shell. So as you can see, we are in the C directory, what we are going to do is to make a file. So echo hacker was here and save it in a file hacker.txt. 
txt hit enter and let's check our target machine if the file is created or not so we are on our target machine and here you can see that there is a hacker.txt open that up and here you can see that hacker was here was the text I've written on this thing so this is how you can gain access of the shell or CMD of the target machine so thanks for watching this video hopefully we will meet in the next video bye bye